Hey everybody, it's me, Ash, and today I am doing a project using these wooden spatulas from the Dollar Tree. So the first step is I'm going to paint these ones this blue textured chalk <clears throat> using a chalk paint paintbrush. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about this blue because it's really thick and um, really, really chalky when it dries. So you kind of have to be frugal with this or you have to add some water to it um, so I'm just applying a thin coat here on the front and I will do it also on the back I'm right I'm just trying to make sure that I have all my edges good and stuff like that and <clears throat> with these sorry with these um I just did one coat each and it seemed to get some pretty good coverage but I'm not trying to get perfect coverage because I'm making these look kind of like they've been used for a while so here I'm taking um this set and I'm using the Waverly white chalk paint um, I love the Waverly brand so much better than the blue one. And so I'm just gonna dump some on here and spread it all out. I feel like Waverly goes on so much easier and so much smoother. I'm sorry for this video. It's my first time editing it, so if it's crappy, that's why. But here I am. They're all dry, so I'm going to go in with the Waverly Elephant color, which is a gray. And I'm going to dry brush this on to make it kind of look aged a little bit on the edges and stuff like that. This is a technique that I just recently learned and I'm in love. You just need a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just trying to get all of the like edges really good and then kind of run through a little bit. And I'm going to do it to the other one. At this point in time, I already did everything to the blue set um, and I wasn't sure how I liked them. Um, but at the very end, they turned out pretty cute, and my sister-in-law claimed them. So here I am just showing you what the outcome is, and I'm going to do the back side as well. Because I haven't decided if I'm going to hang these up or if I'm just going to set them next to stuff. And that's me showing you the blue set. Now I'm taking the blue just to kind of add in just tiny, tiny bit. Um, what I did here is I just barely dipped the tip of my brush into the paint. Because I don't want a lot of this blue because it is very thick. I just want it to kind of get a little hue of it through my project. As you can see here. Okay, so here I am taking a nail buffer. Yes, I know I'm terrible, but I don't have a buffing block. Just an old nail buffer. And I'm just kind of distressing the edges and smoothing out the paint. Just to let a little bit of the natural wood to show through. That way it looks, um, like I said before, used and stuff like that. Because we're making or paddles here. I don't know if I said that yet, but that is what my um, agenda is. And here I'm just working on the blue one. And I didn't like the blue at first, but then once I started sanding it down, as you can see, you can tell by the block, all that blue chalkiness has came off and kind of left it a better feeling 
more smoothed out and stuff like that. So I'm just, you know, now I'm taking some of this, uh, twine that my son got a hold of. That's why I rolled my eyes because he unraveled the whole thing. And I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put a little bit on the back and I'm going to start wrapping it around the top of the handle. Now I was debating before this whether or not I was going to cover the hole, but since I don't know if I'm hanging these up on the wall or if I'm going to lean them up against something, I wanted to make sure that the hole stayed open just to be on the safe side. Now I've wrapped this around a quite a few bit. I kind of wanted a thicker um, twine look to it. And then I'm going to secure it with some more hot glue on the back. Now I did both ends here. As you can see, I love how that turned out. And this is the final outlook of them. And I love how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!